My coverage of CES 2019 is brought to you by Corsair, Enermax, Deepcool, and Cooler Master. All right, guys, I'm at the Enermax suite. Enermax is a sponsor for my CES 2019 coverage, so a big thank you to them. And uh, the lighting's a little weird in here because we have internal lighting and external lighting, and there's a lot of RGB LEDs going on. But uh, Enermax has some exciting new products, liquid coolers as well as cases. Let's take a look. So there's a room full of hardware. As you can see, we're going to start over here with liquid fusion. Now, we actually just built a system. Our CES 2019 editing rig uh, features the Liquid Fusion 240 in there. Uh, they're expanding and offering a 360 millimeter version as well by popular demand. So you can have a three by 120 fan set up on there. Also by popular demand, Enermax has uh, upgraded the fans. So you're gonna get addressable LED fans that ship with this unit now. That's uh, for both the 240 and the 360 millimeter version. And they also have a little breakout here of their cold plates. This is their design on the left. And essentially as the liquid Liquid is passing through the micro channels in the cold plate. If you have a solid design like this, you're going to have more resistance for the liquid flowing over that as it gets further across. So they put a gap in the middle that helps to reduce uh, the resistance and the liquid can flow more freely and give you better cooling. If you're interested in this 360 millimeter version, it is $139.99. It is available now. And yes, it still has the, the little flow indicator down there that spins ever so gently as liquid flows through. This one's not on right now, but trust me, it looks pretty. Oh, and one other thing, and this is going to be a theme for these other liquid coolers that we're looking at too, Enermax gives you flexibility when you get one of these, so they ship a little control unit with it that you can plug everything into, so you can just control with the buttons, or it's got standard 5 volts, 3 pin addressable RGB headers, so you can plug directly into your motherboard and control it with your software. Enermax must be huge fans of Huey Lewis and the News and their Hip to be Square album, because look, Square fans. Fans are normally circular. The fans themselves, to be fair, are still circles, but uh, they have more of a square design with the RGB LEDs going around the outside. Uh, that is a unique implementation. So if you're looking for a way to distinguish your case from all of the non-square RGB fans that are out there, you can check out these square RGB fans that are now gonna be available from Enermax. Other interesting thing about these is uh, they produce a decent amount of airflow, at least anecdotally from pointing it at my face, and they have kind of a cool perforation that goes across the back of these. So if you happen to have them installed on a radiator or just somewhere where it's visible or where the back of the fan is visible, you'll still see your LEDs shining through. These should be available at the end of February. They'll come as a three fan pack for $79.99 that will include the controller or you can get the individual fan for $25. Here's a new all-in-one liquid cooler called Aqua Fusion. As you can see, they're going with the fusion theme here. And this, I'm gonna say, is the prettiest water block I've ever seen, at least when it comes to like ones that come with all-in-one liquid coolers. They have what they're calling an aura belt or the RGB ring that's going around the outside of this. And then they have sort of a, a step down inside that the LEDs shine through internally as well. They're addressably, addressable, of course, so that's giving you a little bit of a light show there. And I don't know, just visually speaking, got the Enermax logo in the middle too. I just think that it's super pretty. Very nice, clean implementation there. This is gonna feature all the same stuff that uh, I already talked about with the other coolers. So you get an RGB controller included. It's gonna have the shunt channel technology for the cold plates, and it's available in a 120 millimeter or 240 millimeter versions. The 120 millimeter version will be $90. The 240 millimeter version you see here will be $110. And we're expecting these to be available at the end of February. Before I move over to cases, did you know Enermax has several patents on some of the products that they produce? Now, I have shown you guys probably in the past, if you've watched any Enermax videos, that their case fans pop off. You can remove the case fan, and this is absolutely amazing. If you ever wanna get in there and do a full cleaning of your system, uh, or I guess swap out your case fans if you don't want clear ones anymore, you could also do that. But beyond that, they also have a patent on the LED ring, the ring around LED technology. I just made up that term, but I'm sure it's accurate. The LEDs that are internal around the ring of the fan hub uh, that, that shine internally so that you can light up things like the rings that they have on their uh, Intermax fans. That's also patented. So, so take that and combine it uh, with the, this modular design, which they have for uh, putting around the, the LED ring itself. These are used in their TB RGB fans. This provides diffusion. And then also the uh, plastic ring around there gives you sort of a, again, a multi-tiered effect, which also looks quite nice. Here's the Intermax Saber Ray. We actually saw, first saw this uh, last year at CES and it's launched, it's their flagship case, so their top end case. It has uh, really cool RGB accents going all the way from the back, across two strips across the top and then down the front. Enermax logo on the front lights up too. This is a new white version that just launched and it comes with three of those 
square RGB fans in the front. For the show, they put one in the back as well. It'll ship with a standard non-RGB fan in the back too. So you do get four fans included with the case. This build looks super clean because they've integrated all white products too. You got the Enermax Liquitec 2 cooler, 360 millimeter, all in white. That's new, show, show you more in just a second. Also a gigabytes graphics card with the white back plate and uh, some Patriot Viper memory there too. This white version is available now. It's gonna cost you $199, but again, it comes with four fans. And then they're also throwing this in. Not the monitor, not the keyboard, the stand. A little monitor stand, it's available in black and white. So if you get the black version of the case, uh, you will have it in black. You can tuck your keyboard back underneath it. And it's got a couple little pull out uh, things, a drawer right there for random stuff. And then a little drop down here so you can store your tablet or cell phone. Here's another version of the Sabre. This is the Sabre Advanced. They're not expecting this to be available till March, but it will be the same price as the uh, white version over there. This one's been upgraded though. You now have a Type-C USB 3.1 Gen 2 port that's uh, in the front I.O. right there. And they've also updated the way that the side panel comes off. And I gotta say, I think this is my favorite side panel implementation for uh, tempered glass that I've ever seen because all you gotta do is push down on that little handle and it pops out and you can lift it off. I like side panels that you can remove without too much difficulty and also without having to like move the case out. So if you have a monitor or something up against here and you don't have that much space, you can still remove the side panel, lift it out in a way, and it's just a very convenient way to access the internals. There are five more cases to talk about here, but the, they can be kind of grouped together. So these four are all based on the same internal chassis so I'll kind of discuss those all together. These are all meant to be RGB gaming cases. And then you also have the Mikashi over here. This one's only gonna be $80. It supports EATX form factor motherboards. It's got an RGB accent across the front as well. It's a little bit more subtle, especially if you compare them to some of, the, some of these that are over here. Tempered glass side panel, of course, and you get support for 360 millimeter radiators in the front as well as the top. Oh, and yes, in case you're wondering, that uh, front panel RGB panel is addressable, so that is uh, also compatible with the Enermax control box, or you can plug that in directly to the motherboard. So now these four other cases, this is the Cancri E or CN30, if you want to say it a bit more simply. These are all just various ways that Enermax has implemented RGB lighting on a very functional chassis. So the chassis itself supports 360 millimeter radiators in the front, 240, 240 millimeter radiators in the top, and a standard ATX layout otherwise with a power supply basement at the bottom. But as you can see, we have a very vivid RGB panel going across the front. There's even some point lighting that scatters across there that's very interesting to see. Another panel going across the power supply shroud area right down there and this can be customized so they have a design going on right now but uh, they can work with system integrators or other third parties who want to have specially designed computer cases to do a different design they showed me one of a Japanese company that wants to have like cherry blossoms going up there that looked really pretty so you can imagine it, it would also cover up a little bit more of the RGB and let it shine through in different ways so uh, there's gonna be lots of different ways that this can be implemented but this case is only gonna be $80 this one here, they've dubbed the Leonid's LN30. Uh, this one also has an RGB strip across the front. They've also got the uh, RGB accent across the power supply basement at the bottom as well. This one's also only gonna cost you $80. Both of these two cases will ship with a single fan, 120 millimeters, so you can add more if you want to bling it out like they've done with this case here. They've assembled another awesome gaming system in there with tons of RGB lighting, so just another taste of how this chassis can be outfitted. And uh, you know, if you don't like that one, maybe you like this one. If you don't like this one, well, maybe you like one of these. So this is the Core Icer C130. Again, same internal chassis design, but here we have an acrylic window on the front. They've put some very bright 120 millimeter RGB LED fans. Uh, these are addressable as well, and they've included a fourth one in the back. These will cost you a little bit more. It's gonna be $89.99 for the one on the right, $99.99 for the one on the left, but they will both ship with four matching fans. Uh, these addressable RGB clear fans on the, on the Core Icer on the right, the C130, and then for the Starry Fort SF30, we have more of the square RGB fans that uh, we already showed you. This one also has a nice implementation showing off the uh, LED accent on the power supply shroud down there. They have a custom designed uh, acrylic panel that is separate from the upper tempered glass panel, by the way. They just did this one for the show, but uh, again, just showing off how you could do a customized acrylic panel down there. If you're not going with something like that, then it's got a standard black panel that covers the bottom power supply shroud area, like you can see with the Core Acer. Now, Enermax also makes power supplies. I've used many of their power supplies in the past. They're all 
very high quality. And this is going to be a really high-end one. In fact, this one isn't even going to be very useful for you if you're in the U.S. If you're in the U.S., this is a 1600 watt power supply because we're limited by our power delivery system, which is 120 volts. If you're in the U.K. or the E.U., you've got uh, 240, well, then it can go up to 1800 watts. So if you have a mining farm or something like that, that's going to be a great unit for you. Most power supplies are rated for continuous operation at 50 degrees Celsius. This one has a turbo switch, so you can push it like that. It's going to crank the fan speed up to 3100 RPMs and keep things much chillier in there. Now, of course, it's going to make a little bit more noise, but uh, if you are in an environment where temperature, keeping temperatures low is a challenge, that can run continuously at 55 degrees Celsius. And rounding things out, we have the Liquitec 2. This is a special edition 360 millimeter radiator version. These are crazy coolers. They have really high flow rates on the pumps. This can support TDP heat dissipation of 500 watts, which is insane. And it's got a really clean all white version now, uh, which I think they've done a great job on the uh, sleeving here on the tubing. Looks really nice. They're still maintaining the, uh, what they call aura belts, which is the RGB lighting that goes around the edge of the actual CPU pump block unit itself. Now there is a Liquitec 2 TR4 version that's specifically made for Threadripper. That is only compatible with Threadripper, and this is only compatible with everything except Threadripper. So if you are trying to cool a Threadripper processor, make sure you get the TR4 version. But the Liquitec 2 is now available for all variety of Intel sockets, as well as AMD, AM3, and M4, and available in multiple sizes. So 240, 280, 360, this is gonna be 139, 149, 159, and then 169 for the special edition white version of that. Okay. Guys, that's all the time I have for here at the Intermax Suites. We're at the Venetian, by the way, in case I didn't mention. Uh, thank you so much for watching my coverage of CES 2019, though, and a big thank you to my sponsors, Intermax, of course, as well as Cooler Master, Deep Cool, and Corsair. If you guys are enjoying my content, hit the thumbs up button and uh, leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you want to see next. I will hopefully be going to the actual CES show floor this year, which I don't always get a chance to do, so I'm looking forward to that. I think I might try to hunt down some robots. Anyway, thanks again for watching this video, guys. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. We'll see you in the next one.